Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a Patreon. Now this video is going to help you set up Aileron Differential for your Delta Wing. Now I'm going to go through all the settings for the Delta Wing. You can use the model wizard to do this, but if you haven't got that, we're just going to have a quick look at the mixes to show you how this is set up. So let's switch over to HTX Companion and then we'll switch over to the radio. Okay, first thing we're going to take a look at is the flight modes because I'm going to use a global variable for this. So it's going to be global variable one. Now I'll set this up at 30. Now you're going to have to experiment with this because of the way elevons work where they are doing both the elevators and ailerons. You don't want to uh, make the adjustment too much because you may have a problem with the elevator not working or the aileron not working properly. So what I've done, I've set this up on a switch so that if you're mid-flight and you happen to set that value too high, you better turn them back off again. So let's have a look. Inputs are uh, standard, AETR for my radios, and the mixes. Now let's have a look. You can see we've got aileron, elevator, and throttle. Throttle we don't need to worry about, but let's have a look at the aileron. On the first line, we have got source is the input aileron. We've got weight of minus 50. Now this can change depending on the orientation of your servos within your wings. We've then got an offset of zero, curve zero, and everything else will be as default. Then we've got a second line. Now here we've got source, input aileron. We've got weight is the global variable, global variable one that I showed you uh, just a moment ago. The offset is zero and the curve is 100. Now we are going to set the switch up. As in this case, I'm using switch SC, but the not switch SC in the forward position. And everything else will be set as, as, as standard, as default. Okay, and the next line we are going to, we would have that as our elevator, our source is input elevator, our weight, minus 50. Offset zero, curve zero, and everything else standard, no switch involved. So you would then set the, your, that's your aileron channel. So let's switch over to the elevator channel. So here we've got our source is input aileron, our weight minus 100, offset zero, curve zero, everything else is standard. The second line, we've got source is the input aileron, the weight is a GV, which global variable, global variable one, which we set up earlier, offset is zero, curve is minus 100, and again, the switch SC in the forward position, or well, not in the forward position, sorry. And everything else is default. And the last line is, uh, is source is the input elevator. Our weight now is plus 50. Our offset is zero. Our curve is zero and no switch. So that would help you set up a delta wing. Now let's go have a look at the simulation here. So, here we go. Let's have a look at the channels. So if I actuate the ailerons, you can see channel one and two are moving to their 50% range and our elevator is working as well. If we put switch SE into the middle position, now you can see we've brought differential into it. You see channel two is only going 20%. Now channel one is only going to 20%. So we've now brought in differential into the ailerons. Now, as I said earlier, you need to be careful. You don't make that figure too high. I've made it 30% so that you can see it. It might be an idea to start with a lower figure, say five or 10, and then you keep that switch available so that you can, if something goes wrong, you can't control your wing. I've had that where I've made an adjustment and I couldn't control it because there wasn't enough throw. And then you can switch it off and go back to the normal settings. Once you're happy with that, then you, you would be able to permanently um, program this into your mixes without needing to have a switch. Well, now let's switch over to the radio and see the settings on our uh, radio. Now let's take a look at the Delta Diff on my radio itself. Let's go into the model settings and we are going to go across to we get to our global variables and you can see the 30% put in there. And let's go back to our mixes. So let me pull this up for you and edit. We're going to take a quick look. So source is input aileron, weight minus 50, and your offset and your curve is zero, and there is no switch. Okay, we go to the second line. And you can see here, we've got our source is aileron, 
the uh, weights as a global variable one, our offset is zero and our curve is 100% and you can see we've selected the uh, not switch C in the forward position. And our third line, okay, is our elevator. We've got input elevator, we've got minus 50% uh, weight, offset zero and curve zero and no switch. Then we re repeat that for our second channel of our delta wing. Let's just go through that one. And you can see that the input is aileron input, the weight minus 50, offset uh, zero, and our curve is zero and no switch. Our second line is aileron input aileron, our global variable one, uh, offset zero, our curve is minus 100 and switch, not SC in the forward position. Now you can choose any switch obviously you like. And the elevator line, let's have a look at that. We've got input, the source is input elevator, our weight is 50%, our offset is zero, our curve is zero and no switch. So let's come back out, let's uh, demonstrate this. I'm gonna go to the channel maps. So we are, we should have full normal throw. Let's just check our, there we go, that's our elevator. So, and we can see our ailerons. Let's switch to differential. And now you can see the differential working. And there we go. Well, I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. Thank you.